welcome to our very first episode of Innovate Africa, where we stop and celebrate African entrepreneurs who are doing their piece in their part of the world to change the way business is done on the continent and to transform the face of Africa. This is a special episode of Nsingi Africa Television. We're grateful that you've joined us. I am your host, Shoma Phillips. And today we're going to be talking to Amos Onyango. He is the founder of Lawi Africa. You met him in this capacity as the executive assistant of PLO Lumumba. And now you're going to see the side of him that we promised you when we interviewed him. This side where he is building up the community one person at a time, one piece at a time. Welcome. Hello again, Amos. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for letting us come to this beautiful, beautiful shop of yours, which is more than a shop. Thank you. I, I just want to say thank you too because you are telling the real African stories. Like you, when you interviewed me last time, it was something all together, but now you have come to see the practical aspect of yes. what you are doing. Yeah. So it's something that I find quite interesting. <laughs> you know, you have to know, you actually really inspire us. Um, for us to find someone who is not only you know, having a day job, has not only overcome so many hurdles in life, but has decided to stop and remember other people who are coming up. That's massive. You know, Chema, what I can say is that um, in life, if you don't give uh, what is called um, an example for others to lead, then even the next generations that will grow will not have a benchmark to grow. Like, we have so many young people outside there who are unemployed and uh, they feel discouraged and they don't know that there are so many opportunities when they are tapped, they can actually benefit a lot. So when we started this initiative, this small initiative, we didn't have money and most of the time you get young people complaining about money and you, as you can see, the shop is not that something big, but I'm happy by grace of God we are growing and these baby steps that we are making will eventually uh, bore fruits that uh, will uh, at least help the next uh, generation to come. Yeah. yeah. So you can remind our viewers, uh, what exactly is Lawi Africa? Okay, Lawi Africa, currently we have Lawi Africa Business and Lawi Africa Foundation. So I'll, I'll talk both of them, but yeah. for now I want to dwell, because we are in the business aspect, I'll talk about the business. So Lawi Africa um, uh, purposely is to produce, um, to make African products, mm. to appreciate the African culture through making African products that is from Africa accessory, whereas you can see all these things, yeah. they're Africans. So we, 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 we pretty much focus on African products, doing them in an African way. Some are handmade, some are local fabrics mm. from different African countries, yeah. Ghana, Nigeria. And then we make accessory using them, we make uh, shoes using them, we make uh, uh, nice earrings the way you are seeing. Yeah. So it's, it's quite interesting. But uh, in a nutshell, Lawi Africa's, uh, Lawi Africa um, uh, company is meant to at least uh, en entice and um, mentor upcoming young people to at least appreciate that they can start with the little they have to make something out of it. Yeah, mm. that's true. Mm. How much did you start with? I think uh, roughly, estimately, in terms of the product, starting with buying the materials, I can say it was around uh, 50,000 Kenya shillings. That's about uh, $500. $500, yes. yes. But as you can see, uh, that 50 has made so much yeah. doing that now even uh, our monthly turnover you can say we can make a profit of roughly around uh, uh, more than more than that 50,000 because around 40,000 if we have done all the expenses monthly in the in the display shop yeah yeah and you have a team of people who are now working here yes we have a team of young people and all of them come from uh, different diverse group and they are needy. Mm -hmm. I think you, you have met some of them and you are still going to meet some in the foundation part. Uh, majority of them are very needy and majority of them are very creative and they have that 
urge to learn. Mm. So we brought them in and some are doing different uh, um, designs, some are making different things. Actually, yeah. they are now improving their skills because now we even have better machines. Eh? Earlier on when we started, we started with two machines which are just normal machines. But now we have multi-purpose machines and we have electric. Yeah. So you know multi-purpose can do anything. They can make bags, they can make shoes, they can make all type of African uh, products. So they are learning each day by day and our intention is that uh, when they make their pro, pro, uh, products, they brand with their name but we sell them under Lawi mm -hmm. and then a little percentage comes to us. Mm -hmm then the larger percentage goes to them. So at the end of the day, they have something yeah. uh, that uh, they well, can that survive they can, with. Yeah. And they can say that it was yes, them who did it. Yes, exactly. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So have you seen, like, they have changed, and I'm not now even speaking financially, but in terms of how they view themselves and how they live in their communities, are they changing? Of course they have changed, and some of them are even breadwinners, and even uh, in terms of uh, bread, bread providers, uh, uh, some of them are, uh, they don't want to leave the shop. Like, I can come and find we, are, we want to close. You know, they, they even ask you that they can stay for long, but you know, we have curfew hours in Kenya now. So they have that hunger to learn more. Yeah. And uh, they have that anxiety to want to know a new thing. You know, if somebody wants to learn and know a new thing, that means there is aspect of innovation mm -hmm. which you are now uh, talking about, yes. which is very good for yeah. Africans. Yeah. So I think there is uh, a sense in which uh, I love what they're doing and I appreciate them. And my wish is that as we continue to to nurture them and even to, 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 to expand, they begin to empower other young people so that we can have a generation that is empowered economically. Right. Because when Africa is empowered economically, then uh, we will not have this issue of poverty mm. because poverty we have poverty of mind it's not poverty real poverty yeah. poverty is in our mind so long as we decolonize our mind by empowering other young people to appreciate and to use their little skills eh, to make this kind of apparel then i think we can uh, we can go far in terms of empowering the youth yeah mm. but see this 500 dollars that you started with i'm sure you could have used it for your own self yes why did you choose to invest in of, the community? Of course, uh, I choose to invest because you have seen so many young people are complaining. There is no employment. And you and me can agree that our education system is paper-based, it's certificate-based, it's not uh, skill-based. I wanted to do something skillful that somebody can do with their hands and they can learn something out of it. They get encouraged that it's not just being in an office that can get you something to support yourself. Yeah. Even doing things like tailoring and uh, fashion designs mm. can make you have a living. Yeah. So that, that, that mentorship that I got yeah. just the same way I told you last time from the PLO has inspired me to go further mm. to at least um, show people that they can make it with the little they have. And you, you and me, remember the story I told you about the lady who used a thousand shillings and mm. now he owns quite a number of farms. Yes. That is the story we are in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when, when we started this, uh, when we started this shop, we didn't open the foundation itself. Yeah. But now this, this uh, shop has now uh, encouraged more young people and they are, they are now supporting it, actually supporting yeah. our products. And even some of the African in diaspora have started getting uh, traction to what we are doing. Mm -hmm. And through their support now, we are now able to, to open the, the training center for young people. Right. And I'm very impressed that we now have uh, 10 machines uh, which were donated by Partners for Care in collaboration with BEM UK. Those are just African in diaspora who are now appreciating what Lawi Africa is doing to the wow, community. that's amazing. Yes. We thank God for them. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming forward <laughs> to support this initiative. Mm. Wow. Mm. So what do you do at the foundation? Okay, at the foundation what we do is uh, we are now empowering young people who are not able to have uh, some income because you know uh, m money aspect is becoming an issue. Somebody have the anxiety to learn, they have this urge to learn, mm. but they don't have uh, 
money to pay for such things. You know, where they're training, like schools where they're training such things, you pay a lot of money. Yeah. But in our foundation, that is Lawi Africa Foundation, the main mission is to give back and to to make life out of it. Like to, to I can say, to, to bring more life, mm. to appreciate more life. So we are changing life through giving them platform without paying any single cent. Mm -hmm. All they pay for is just... Uh, the material, paying for the material that they're learning with, but they're not paying any fees. So learning is free, and whenever they feel that they want, they want to come and uh, train at their free time, when even the tutors are not there, they just come and train because it's open 24 hours, even weekend, except on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. Thank you for your love and your dedication. Thank you so much. Yeah. So we're here with Robin, um, he is one of the trainers at Lawi Africa Foundation and he also is one of the people who produces um, the beautiful materials that you can see at Lawi Africa. Um, hi Robin. Hi. <laughs> how are you? Fine. So Robin is from Tanzania, which is, you know, how beautiful is this coming together of Africa and you've been with Lawi Africa for how long? Like for one year and a half. One year and a half. Yeah. How did you meet this Amos and get started? L like before, mm. Amos alikuwa kama customer wangu nikiwa na wafu mahali. Kwa mm -hmm. before, to join pamoja, like, nikuwa ni kimishoni yangu kwa za Africans. Mm -hmm. Like, akiwa kama customer wangu, alikuwa kija like kwa shop, most of the time Robin, Na wanaku kifanya kazi mzuri but siku moja, nataka tuanzisha kitu kama idea like kutrain ama kiwaku pa moja like kusupport mm. African arts. So ikawa ni kama ni, ikawa ni kama tu ni story like Hamos ya kasema wacha nipatia muda like nifanya utafiti ni kiwa sawa mipango yangu, tutuongena tu organize like ima tunza saidiana na transform hii knowledge kwa watu wengine tu. Yeah. Why do you think it's important to transfer the knowledge to other people? Kitu cha kwanza ni kasema, ndika kwanza chini tukona kuna pijana wengi, maybe wenye nataka opportunity kama hii, like wakona challenges kada. Like maybe, kitu cha kwanza kupata knowledge kama hii ya kushona, mwusi hata kwa shule, maybe kitu tinkina angusha watu inaza kwa school fees. So tukasema like kitu kifungua kitu kama hii kwa vijana wenye wanaweza kuwa nataka chance kama hiyo. Mm. At least inaweza kuwa ni msaada kwa pia na msaada kwetu endapo tutakuwa tume grow ama tumefikia mahali tunaweza kuwa tunahitaji maybe watu kadhaa like kuweza ku work na ku sustain mm. like in, majukumu ya hii kazi yetu. Na kitu kipata order na tupata tuko na watu kama 6 ama 10 mm. wenye tume train itakuwa rahisi kwetu pia like kuweza ku sustain mm -hmm. majukumu ya kazi yeah. like kuliko kusema kitu kwamba tuchukuane mimi mwenyewe peke yangu na tuweze ku manage vitu zote that's why tunapeana hiyo training kwa vijana na like, kinaweza kuwa msaada kwa pia na mm. both kwetu yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it really even builds the community yeah. that's why we are doing that yeah, yeah. that's beautiful yeah. so what gives you joy like when you when you come here what 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 do you find like inakuridhisha kitu cha kwanza pia nakumbuka hata mimi mwenyewe nimepitia life yangu ya nyuma so like nikiona kijana mwanzangu ama ni muona do mimi nita teacher do si pia tunafundishana hapa ni kama tu pia vijana like pia nikikumbuka situation yangu ya nyuma la, kuna wakati nikitaka kujifunza kazi kama hii kitu cha kwanza challenges kubwa ni ilikuwa kwangu ilikuwa ni kupata fee so like nikiona mtu amepata opportunity oh, nani nafasi kama hai kwa uraisi na anafanya kitu ya like a struggle maybe kusema analipa fee ama vitu kadhaa kama kupata pesa kununua mashine kama hii so vitu kama hivyo kiweza kupata kwa uraisi pia na sawa na bidii ya ku uweza kujifunza like elewe chini anafundishwa pia hiyo ni furaha kwangu boys na fly amp akipata kitu kama hichi like yeah. kwa uraisi yeah. yeah to get an opportunity yeah. to to come up 
Yeah. So nafurahia pia. Yeah. Na kiondo kwa yangu. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Kwa sababu kwa wakati mm. mimi nikihitaji kupata nafasi kama hii sikuweza kupata pia kwa uraisi. Kuna wakati nilikuwa naweza ku attend class lakini nikiwa na fee. Lakini nilikuwa naenda class same same pia nikitoka hapo class naingia hustling mtani at least naweza kupata kitu kidogo cha za ku sustain mambo na school fees na vitu vingine vidogo venye nipate ya kushona nguo. So kwa vijana wenzangu at least naona majukumu majuku kama hayo kwa sahihi at least hayaelemei. Like mtu kuna anakuja tu na kitabu chake, mm-hmm. kalamu, ya. Yeah. Then vitu zingine naweka tu bibi na nia ya chenye anafundisha pia. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. That's transforming lives. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. So as you can see, a little sacrifice and a lot of love is what it's going to take to bring Africa up. And that's how we are going to grow and innovate Africa together. Thank you so much Amos for your love and your sacrifice and your contribution to transforming this continent. Thank you. We're Thank you too for the good work you're doing for this continent. May God bless your work. Thank you. Yeah. If you want to find out more about Amos's work, please get in touch. We will give you his contacts and you can talk to him directly about the initiatives that he's undertaking at Lawi Africa. They need support just like we also need your support. So if you like what you see, kindly like, share, subscribe, tell a friend about this. And if you want to support our initiatives, the information is in the description below this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this. Thank you.